Nice shot. Okay, when do we know when a chain is 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 sharp? When do we know that? Well, we sure can see that it is not now, can't we? This one is sharp. You can see it, right? There's no, sorry friends, there. See, there's, it's sharp. Well, and the reason being is because it's sharp. <laughs> Anyways, because I, oh, I just sharpened it. It's super sharp. Okay, so let's, oh, let's pull this back. And there you get, it's had the, the top knocked right off it. The corner's been knocked right off it. How do we know when it's sharp? I'm gonna one hand it and you're gonna watch what happens. I don't like one handing, but I want you to see. See the top plate start to change? I'm just holding the tooth there. I mean, I don't have to because the chain's nice and tight, but you see what's happening here? Okay. See the, see it there? See what's happening? You're getting that, okay? See that there? All that stuff on there? All that stuff on there? There it goes, I just wiped it off. Very sharp, but not exactly where I want it, but it's sharp, I, I, I can tell. I like to, just a couple more little. Let's do another one, this one here, same deal. We smashed it, right? You can see it. This way I can do. Watch what happens. It has to happen, friends. This is a 730 seconds file. This is some kind of a, like, I don't even know what this is. Some kind of semi, there. Done. See the blackness? See it? You can still see, look. See, see, you can still see it's ragged at the top, can't you guys? Hey, see it? It's still ragged. You, you can, you can see it, watch. Here it comes. Make sure you don't go too deep, friends. Okay? See, look now. Watch what happens. See? Done. That's when a chain is sharp. This got hammered, friend. Look at this one. Oh, my gosh. Friends, look at it. <laughs> the corner's been knocked right off it. Look. <laughs> right? There's no way around this. You could even go straight across if you wanted for a couple. You know you gotta get it. So, go get it. Get the rock. There, okay? Now, I'm hitting this hard. It's a nice, fresh, strong file. There we go. Once I, I don't see any discoloration, it's clean and sharp. See it? Done. Okay. We, we hammered it. Okay, next. This one's not bad. See this one? Not too shabby. It's getting wet, friends. we go all right so here it is this is what a chain is supposed to look like friends a sharp chain okay. now be careful you don't go like Okay, that's sharp, like freaking sharp. Now, next, this guy, look at it. 
Look at that thing, friends. Completely ragged. See it? I'm trying to get the light to flash on it, but I mean, you can see it. Let's put the file in it, it'll really show up. Look at that whole front edge. Completely ragged, right? What What is it supposed to look like? Let, let's, let's glide this through here. Now, because it's the first filing, we don't have to get too aggressive with our down pressure. We need to clean this top edge up. See it coming up? We're not even creating that much of a burr. We're getting it clean. See that? It's not done yet, not to my liking. See it there? See that mess cleaning up? You may think I'm doing a whole pile of strokes. Well, I am, because I want it sharp. Okay, see? There it come. That's it, I just got rid of the burr. It is, friends, okay? That's what, that's what it's supposed to be. Look at this. Get this freaking hair off my freaking. Okay? Look at it. Right? Okay? Let's back you out. Let's go to here. Okay? Bring you in close now. Okay. See? See? No more ragged edge. Okay. Oh gosh. They're just, <laughs> it's just awful. I'm actually going to see what happens when I flip you guys over this other side. Watch what happens. I'm just going to go normal speed. I'm just going to sharpen. Okay, now that I've almost got it out, friends, I'm just going to start to glide now a bit and see if we can't pick up a burr on that top edge. Just glide that file through there. All our heavy work is done. See? Make sure we're not missing anything. That's looking real good. See? Throw that. See that? Oh, that's lovely. Very, very lovely. What is this one doing? Here's the other side. I mean, it's, it's horrendous. Look. Look at that. You can even... Oh, my goodness. Can you guys... <laughs> right? So friends, this is something that it takes a while to get onto, but it really is the only way to do this is just get on it. 
you're going to you're going to destroy a couple chains off the hop. Well, not destroy, but you're going to be pretty funky in the beginning if you're just starting. I urge you to file both ways. Don't flip the saw around, just get comfortable. File with your right hand across, then just put the file in the other hand and start pulling and pushing with the other other hand. Okay. Push and pull with one hand, push and pull with the other. Train yourself to do that. You will thank yourself down the road and it will not take long. It won't, friends. Address your work. Look at your work. Look at all angles of the chain. Turn the thing. Look behind it. Look down on top. Look underneath. Look at all your angles. Just take your time. And your raker height is crazy important. Probably one of the most important things about cutting wood is your raker height. Okay, a lot of people crank them right down because they can't get their chain too tight or too sharp. So they, you know, they'll file their chain, they'll go, oh, it's not cutting that well, and they'll smack the rakers down. Well, now they're jerking and bucking and, you know, the saw's doing all that madness. Well, you don't want that. You want a sharp tooth. I'll be quite honest with you. 25 thou raker is, is good in, in any scenario. If you're doing straight up bucking, you know, straight cross cut buck and firewood you can afford if you got a good strong saw to crack it down a little more. Uh, you know, every type of cutting is different, but for fallen undercuts and back cuts and all that integral stuff, you don't want a really, really hungry power saw. You don't. You see guys doing it, they'll be going, you know, that stopping and starting and it just. So I I emphasize on, on power saw sharpening because. It is all in the filing. And I know that sounds funny to people that have been here a long time, but it is all in the filing. There it is. So, friends, take your time. Just take your time and go at her. Okay. Try different things. Try a little twist on an angle. Try different, you know, height of a, of a raker a little bit. Get to know what the chain is doing so you can speak to it and understand it. You know, just reading on the internet or listening to some guy like me is you're still not going to get, at least try and find your sources from somebody reputable because everybody's got an opinion. Uh, but I'd rather talk to the guy that's been on the saw for 30 years than a guy that's been on it for a year because he doesn't know yet. He, he doesn't know all the intricacies. Yes, you could definitely know how to file a chain within a year. Easy. But there's lots to learn, friends, in the filing game. Lots. So... Any questions, hit me on an email, whatever. Shoot in the comments. We'll do our best if to get you back train to you. yourself, friends. This has been rocked terribly. That's why I'm hitting this so many times. If you can train yourself to just switch hands, that, that is your best bet right there. This thing's got to, I got to hammer these rocks out of here. There we go. And then I loosen up. When I get all the rock out, I loosen up and I just look after burr and top plate. When one hand gets tired, I pull. See? Literally pulling. See my wrist? Ah, there we go. Okay. You you guys, it's just amazing what what this stuff can you know, how bad it can be. And you'll think to yourself, well, do I actually have to do I have to get that? Do I have to go get all that? You know, that, this, yeah, yeah, we do. It's ragged. Look at that. I mean, you can't cut with that. Right there. Hey, okay. what do you guys think? One-hander? Maybe if I go over top like this.
Okay. File's getting worn now. See? Okay. You guys see that? Hear that? That's cleaning up. That's magic right there. Okay. I mean, this is trying to keep my hand out of the way for you, but this is what this has to happen. So I, I'm just showing you. There it is. Okay. It's a beautiful freaking day. There's wind up. I'm going to cut trees right now as we speak. It's noonish on a Friday. A good Friday. It's a holiday here. Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. Friends, you know, I came here. You know, I came here <laughs> to document my life. I came here to document my work for my grandkids. That was my, my original push to do a YouTube video way back seven years ago. That's really where this whole thing started is to share stuff with my family, to look back on. I thought about my grandkids actually is what I thought about. And then I thought to myself, I might be able to help somebody uh, run power saw because it's such an enjoyable thing. Let's be honest, men, women, and children running power saw. There is really nothing like it. it is one of the most fantastic things in the world to do. For anyone, for a man especially, I'm sure, but women, I know lots of women that run power saw. I know children, young, not even teenagers that run power saw. I know two 12, 13 year old guys that run power saw and they freaking love it and they're going to be fantastic. <laughs> so when I started to look at my, my, my part on YouTube, what's, what's going to be my part? How can I help? You know, I, I saw all these, yeah, it's starting to blow now. I saw all these videos on YouTube of people. Oh, it was scary actually to me. It was, it was scary uh, for people to see this and, and, and try these things that people were saying to do. It's like, Oh no. So I just thought I'm going to, I'm going to throw my piece into the hat and that was get the gullet. And that's where it started. So, friends, if any of this can help you, go after it. It's not going to come overnight, this hand filing. Just get into her. You know, you'll go through a few chains now and again. I'm sure it'll happen. You'll bust up a chain and you'll cut and you'll be cutting on an angle. That's good. Cut on an angle. Then you realize that you've done something wrong. You can try something different. Try it all. So that when your grandson comes to you down the road and says, Hey, Pops, how do I, how do I get this thing cutting? It's not cutting. You can say, hey, grandson, come on over here, kid. Put this in the vise or on the tail deck of the truck. And here's a file, just a file. That's it, just a file. You don't need all the contraptions and start teaching. So anyways, that's my spiel. Friends, I love you all. Be kind to one another. Work hard and be honest. Heavens to Betsy, be kind to one another. Let's do a good thing for this world.
Catch you on the next one.